It's time for Canva Create 2024. It's in a few weeks time and I'm just so excited for all the new features that are possibly coming out. And as a Canva Verified expert, I've still not seen any of the new features coming out just yet. However, I asked in a group the other day, a group of people that I know that also do YouTube videos and use Canva, what features would you like to see? And I thought, I know. I could share that with you and maybe that'll inspire you to see some features that you might think would be good. And I'd also like to see down in the comments some of the features that you'd actually like to see and maybe add to this list. But let's get in and start with the Canva Create features that we're hoping to see in 2024. So one of the first features was the download button. We all used to know up here where it actually has the share button. You can click on that, you can come to download. But what if... Just here, you can see, just here, we've got all these different features where we can duplicate, we can lock the page and delete the page and add pages. What if, and I've just added this in here, this isn't a sneaky look of something that is definitely coming. So if these things do actually appear in the next few weeks on your Canva, then it's just a total coincidence because I've not seen any features just yet. But what if we had a download button here and we could just then choose to download it as a quick PNG or a JPEG or something else like that. If we want to go to the more advanced features, yes, still come up here. But if we wanted to just do a quick download or copy to the board kind of like, just add some kind of like button on there that we can use to actually quickly download a page. I would actually love that. And that just kind of like, adds to a quicker workflow because sometimes you do just want to quickly download a single page. Now, the next thing, and I have just intentionally left some of these blank in between, but what if we had more of an artboard style kind of like design area? So we could add in here kind of like different pages with different sizes. So we could have like maybe a Facebook page that would be like on page one. Page two might be your a thumbnail or like a blog post style thing. Page three might be for your Pinterest or Instagram story. And you can kind of like mix up the pages so you can have like a, a landscape on page one, portrait on page two, and you can just rotate the pages or change the actual size of the pages with inside of like each page. Hopefully that makes sense. But that's one of the things that I would absolutely love to see is to see more of a design board kind of like approach or art board kind of like approach to designing inside of Canva. I'm just going to close this window. So we've got the, basically you have like the same design in the same, in a different document. Now, the next thing, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but recently there was kind of like, a, I think Canva bought Affinity software. I've not looked at the full details of all of this, how it's working or anything else like that. But that got me thinking, if you've not used Affinity software, it's more kind of like a vector based kind of design software. And I thought, what if Canva could bring in like more of a vector style design, even if it's to some of their basic shapes. We know right now, or at least I don't, I'm assuming you know right now, if you add in a line, you can actually choose to curve this line. You can come up here and you can like choose to elbow the design. So you can do these things or you can choose to curve the design and you can grab this dot in the middle and choose to curve. You can also double click and choose to add some text in there if you want. But that's kind of like a sneaky peek to kind of like vector design that might be coming. So you'd have like, say a square like this. This is just one that I mocked up. And you could just grab these dots here. Maybe even like grab the corner and round just one corner off. This is one that I've just kind of done with multiple layers. If I go to position, you can see all of the layers that are actually in this image that are all kind of just mocking up this kind of design. But I thought, at the moment, you can choose to come over to border style and you can choose to round the corners, but you can't choose to just round one corner. You can, you've got all these dotted line options, but I would love to see it if you could just round off one corner without having to add in, well, how many layers have I got in there? One, two, three, four, five different layers to kind of like mock this up. And if you do zoom in here, you can see exactly what I've done. You've, I've got kind of like just all sorts of bits covering things up. And you can't get totally precise on this, but just adding one kind of like little tiny things to be able to make more better vector 
images inside of Canva. And I've got so excited that <laughs> I just had a bit of a coughing fit. But that's, so that's vector images. Let me check the design here. The next thing a friend said to me was about locking elements. Now you can do this. You can see here, I've actually locked this element and you've got different types of locking elements. So you can do that. You can just come over and click the lock. That's actually locked that. And I can still then add in other areas and lock in kind of like text. If you come over to the lock on that, you can, you can see where it's still got the pencil. The pencil means you can still, uh, baby, hello baby. <laughs> you can still edit in there. If you do change this to the lock, you can't then change that. So if it's got the pencil in there, the pencil icon, then you can still edit it um, and change that back to hello or whatever text it is you want to add in there. Are you still with me? That's one that somebody mentioned that was actually able, to, you were able to do. Now, a couple of other things that I think would be really exciting to see as part of Canva Create are some other more advanced video editing options on here. So at the moment we know that, you know, you can come in here, you can add in your transitions in between things. You've got the match and move kind of side of things. But when it comes to exporting, you can't export currently with a transparent background. Now this is something that I have been asking for absolutely years. I want to be able to come in here create a design like a lower third or something else like that and export it without having to do the green screen and then try and mask it out in my video editing software. I just want to export with a transparent background. You can do it with GIFs. Come on Canva, please give me transparent backgrounds, please. When it comes to the video editing options as well, I think there needs to be some kind of like offline video editing options or something else like that, where we're not having to upload like lots of data all the time, like we do with CapCut. Right now, I use CapCut for most of my video editing software. I do some minimal animations inside of Canva when it comes to doing some little things, but I don't use it as a video editor right now. There's so much possibility there, and I think they just need to stop thinking about AI Stop thinking about AI and video editing. Just give us some of those video editing options that we just want, that are basic things. Make complicated things simple, Canva. Please, complicated to simple. Don't make simple things complicated, which is what you seem to be doing right now. So many people have said to me over the last few weeks, oh my word, why are Canva making this simple thing so much harder to do? And that's not one of the ethos of Canva. It's about making complicated things simple. Keep it simple. When it comes to video editing, there is some amazing video editing options in there. So please don't take this the wrong way. If anyone from Canva is watching this, please don't take this the wrong way. The video editing options that are in there are amazing. One feature that I would love to see added inside of the Canva video editing options, apart from the ones I've already mentioned, Captions, please, captions, give us captions. It, you can call it AI captions if you want. If you wanna be on that bandwagon of all the AI options inside of Canva, call it AI Canva options with whatever you wanna do, but please give us some kind of captions options and make this more like a video editing timeline at the moment where we're adding pages and things like that. I get the reason why, because we've got the, the, the transitions and things like that, but there's better ways of doing this. And I think that the video editing options needs to go back to basics and reimagine how it's done on there to make it more like a video editing timeline that people see in things like iMovie, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, CapCut. You know, there's the, whilst those tools are all the way up here, and I get that there are some bit simple tools inside of Canva when it comes to video editing, Just I just think that there are better ways of doing this. So that's my few things that I've come across and asked friends what they would like to see. Let me know down in the comments some of the things that you would love to see added in Canva. 
create 2024. It's in May this year, it's over in LA. And if you've not seen it or seen the advertising for it, just go to your Canva homepage and you'll see it here. You can click to find out more. We've got some amazing, amazing speakers. There's Mel, Cliff and Cameron that will be speaking. These are the founders of Canva. Amazing guys, love them to bits. But we've also got the CEO of Walt Disney. We've got all of these other people speaking at the event. That it's going to be such a motivating event and you will be able to watch it online if you come and register. Um, you've got all these different design spaces. These are all things. This is not sneaky peeks from me. This is Canva Create 2023. But in May this year, it is being held in LA. So if you are in LA or you want to go have a trip over to LA, come grab your tickets, head over there and enjoy. But online attendees can also do and attend the online events. And that's everything. Just Comments, let me know in the comments. Please start interacting with me when it comes to this content because I just feel like sometimes that I'm just speaking to myself. And if you're still here watching this to the end, then hi, please be my friend.